J'ai dit le 27 janvier, je Daniela de Saliwaka. Daniela, nous t'attendons. Oh, Daniela, merci, mon chou. Parce que si tu as une bonne chose, tu as une bonne chose. Je ne sais pas si tu as Maman, je ne sais pas si tu as une bonne chose. Je ne sais pas si tu as une bonne chose. Je ne sais Kufika mushamba, nikuona ungola, nikendo nama na mwa natukia nyumangu. Nyoba kini kamata. Kaka lisema buma, isha uganda kukobie. Juhu ya lipafikaka. Mane no bako. 
How old are you? Fourteen years. Three in the two of the lepe. Longa. Now I'm doing in Katan. Doing in the you're working. Doing you working. In Vip. So I was born here in Vip during war. During that first time when people came to Vip? Yes. yes. Okay. Way back from Sudan up to Uganda. I want to know the experience she had while on the way. When they met those uh, Dinkas and the Nueris, those people actually stopped them eh, and they retained them uh, like for a whole day. We came from South Sudan on December 2016. And we walk in the bush for four days. When we hear a gunshot, we lie down and wait a moment, we start walking. Until we reached uh, the border site, that is Congo, Uganda, and South Sudan. Several times we repeat who we are, our stories, when our journey began, I saw the war and I saw what uh, happened. Uh, we accept narrowly from that war. I come only with one cloth and with my children. And even I came with the, the children of my neighbors. My child fell sick. She was really very ill. And I don't feel good. Anytime I was just crying, why is this one happened to me? And why uh, did God leave us to suffer like this? And the other thing is I was thinking if the father could be there, will help me in other ways. But I'm alone and the child is now off. And there's nothing in my hand that can make me to help that child. There is killing everywhere, there is killing every day. Today we will stay together with my neighbor. Tomorrow we will see that that neighbor was slaughtered with a, a knife or panga. And again, two to three days, you hear gunshot everywhere. The town is all full of gunshot. I lose three, uh, my blood.
brothers, one sister in the war, shot by the gun, and the other one was slaughtered as a chicken. My husband, I left him in, in South Sudan. We were talking in telephone, but it have now taken some uh, months. We do not talk with him. I don't know where he is. And my children will ask, where is dad? Where is my father? And I uh, told them, uh, your father is still in, his, uh, in South Sudan. But when they keep reminding me of where, are my, where is my father, and immediately that feeling, come to me and I, I don't feel well. In the camp, see that silly, um, we have uh, children who just flew without their parents and there is no one who is taking care of them. They are only like children, a family headed children. I'm not going to register her because they are all under it now. But how can I give you a different household for this one? But this one is located already. This one is yeah, this one one located. Already. The thing is, if they are all below 18, you can register them. But they will not be given a code hmm. because they are going to stay with the elder sister. Hmm. The elder sister is going to be the one taking care of them. If they had no sisters, we are going to foster them a parent. What is the name of the mother? 
Margaret Wanjia. And the father? Father. Moya. Yeah. Joseph Patal. When you have a pain or a pain in your heart and you don't expose it out to someone for help, you'll be sick. One, you'll be heart attack. Two, you'll be traumatized. Three, ulcers. It's now common in refugee settlement. The government of Uganda is okay, allowing refugees to come up to the town, moving anyhow, but it is not our country. Remember that you can go back to the refugee life. You come to the town, you go back. And the suffering inside us for what we have lost make our days endless. When we relocated to the settlement and we find that the uh, the life there is very difficult. You hear and you see people are really traumatized. And I came with an aim and a feeling that I should uh, form a drama in order to keep my community busy, to forget the trauma or to forget what they have been thinking so that they will be uh, happy sometimes. There is a violence against the women and the children. That's why I brought that story, in order to teach and uh, dedicate and even to uh, the way of minimizing sexual gender-based violence in our community. <laughs>
captured it. From there, we left everything in South Sudan. We just escaped from there just because we need our life to be life like today. Here, there is no war. We are safe and we are alive. Mbaka Daniela mu ile shinde simufiki yake. Namwambia sana shule shinde simufiki yake. Sasa ginzi lifiki yake mama. Atate yake. Siku moja Daniela alinitaka mama. Mama mzuri na pasha chunga mtoto wake mzuri. Anamnawisha, anamvalisha, anamtafutana vya kukuru. Sasa mimi na nalo taka tu vitu vya ku vya njala na Samoya, ina kwa na makumi sita. Siku kwa ngo, ina kwa na makumi mbili na ine. Mashina kwa ya mingi. 
Say, you know, I'm not a tattoo, 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 I'm not